Hello everybody. This is a compression gauge. Recently, it broke on me. I was working on a little two-cylinder engine. I did a compression check on the top cylinder. I don't remember what it was. Let's just say it was 100 PSI. I said, okay, great. I put it in the bottom cylinder, zero. I said, zero, that's odd. So I started looking at things. Turned out the valve in the end of the gauge broke. So I went over to Harbor Freight, bought another one, came back, put it in. Top cylinder now says 30. And right off the bat, I, I knew the gauge wasn't accurate. Now this is a Harbor Freight gauge I've had for probably 10 years. It works absolutely fine. I trust it. I believe it to be accurate. And the new junk that they pedal, not even close to being accurate. So I uh, devised a little way to fix this one by basically going to the tire shop and getting a new uh, valve for it. It was actually pretty easy. should have just done that in the first place. But I also figured out a way to do a quick little test of these to verify their accuracy. And I'm going to show you how I did that. All right, this is the uh, air compressor line running through the garage. This is the pressure regulator, which regulates all of the pressure downstream of it. So at idle here, the gauge reads about 110 PSI. When in use, it lets out about 100 PSI. Holds pretty steady at 100. Maybe a little less. 98 or so, but let's call it 100. So I have a little rubber tipped air line here, and I have my gauge. Let's go ahead and pop some air into it, see what happens. Just shy of 100 PSI, the same as the air compressor gauge. So unless both gauges are both off equally, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Now, the more gauges you have in line of your air system, you know, the better the average and the more you can judge the accuracy of it. But, I mean, one gauge works fine. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all later.